This is the Traxxas X-Max, considered by many as the greatest off-road vehicle ever made. And introduced five and a half years ago, a lot of people still think this is the best one you could buy today. But as good as it is, it has a lot of weaknesses. And I'm gonna explain to you seven of those weaknesses and how to fix them to maximize your enjoyment. Got the moment to strike, I don't hesitate I'm feeling like winning, they spitting the venom But I got the power, I ain't afraid I ain't afraid, I'm in your face Forget tomorrow, man, I'm here today Won't settle for good, man, I'm shooting for great to remember my name when I'm in the grave Yeah, all in, not pretending Hall of Fame, man, with the veterans I ain't playing weak, no, I'm playing for keeps Can't stop me, I'm a legend I run with the crew that's making the moves Get out of the way, we coming through We got this, never stopping And we won't lose, no, we can't lose All right, Praxis X Max, it's so good that people forget about its weaknesses. They don't talk about it, but I'm here to explain them to you. That way you can address them when, when the problems happen, or you can get ahead of the problem uh, and make sure you don't get stranded out there on the trail. What it's good at is it's got an incredible drivetrain, 8S drivetrain that can handle the power, won't give you problems, and it has handling for, for days, a 24 pound vehicle, that can, that can corner like a cat and uh, do twirls in midair. It's just an amazing experience. You also have a, a fully, mostly plastic uh, chassis that can handle all the beating. And so that amounts to a fun vehicle. The fun factor on this is just so high. It's almost kind of like uh, in between an RC and a real vehicle. Uh, and that's what people love about them. But it has weaknesses and that's what we're gonna talk about today. The number one weakness is the tires. The tires simply cannot handle this vehicle. They are too weak. Uh, and this is the culprit right here. It just tears up the sidewall. The casing is just, it's just so weak. Uh, it's a crime that, that, that they use it with this car and that they still continue to, to spec it in this car. So either in 6S or 8S, they will just blow up. You know? And the common problem is because it has open oh, differentials, wow. So when one tire is in, in, in the air, this will get all the power uh, that this doesn't get. So instead of spinning at 50 miles an hour, it's gonna spin at 100 miles an hour and it'll just blow itself up. So the solution is to get another brand tire, the Proline Badlands with a belted uh, sidewall or casing, tire casing is the solution. Duratrax has that one too and I'll have links in the description. At the minimum, you need to carry spare tires and wheels uh, in, in your toolbox when, when the blowout happens so you're not out there stranded. A couple other solutions is one, don't use, easy on the throttle. Like I said, when, one, when it's in the air and they're not spinning at equal uh, velocities, you know, get off the throttle. Because <laughs> the more you do that, the more it's almost sure to blow up, 6S six, six or 8S. Uh, auto flip too. When auto riding, when you're do when the, it's doing that and you're, you're you're not in control, this thing can just blow up. So just avoid that that feature, unfortunately. And the last solution is just to vent the tires, punch holes on opposite side of the tires, uh, because uh, air has weight, believe it or not. And then when it's spinning at at full speed, the more if it has air trapped inside, you know it's gonna put pressure on the the tire casing and blow it up. The number two weakness of this vehicle is the servo. The servo is so anemic and inadequate that it just can't turn this vehicle. Like if you turn it right now while it's on rest, it won't even, the, wheel, the, the wheels will go like this. It's so weak. Um, and worse than that is it's gonna, it's gonna break out on the trail, leave you stranded, whether you're out in water or you know, out in rocks. It's just, it's just, it's gonna leave you disappointed. So the solution, oh here, here is the servo by the way. It's huge, but it's so light, it's full of air, heats up <laughs> and it needs this heat sink. Plastic servo horn, plastic servo saver, everything about it is bad. So the solution is to get the upgraded servo from Traxxas. Uh, this is 245 ounce, the other one's 345 ounce with a better servo saver. It'll get you going, but the real solution is, is to use a standard size servo. They have an adapter that's super cheap. Get, get that 
strong uh, servo saver, and then use a standard servo from Homes Hobbies, Reefs, um, are some, some of the great companies that are fast and strong, 800 ounce, 1,000 ounce, and you'll have what I have, which uh, I'm willing to show you right now. I did that upgrade. I'm using a small servo, a standard servo, but you'll see the difference. Pardon the fan noise. So here it is, weight of the vehicles on it. Not a problem. I'll put more weight on it. Still going in the air at speed. So super cool. Not only is it strong, it's fast. And fast is good on a vehicle like this because it allows it to just turn on a dime, you know, be like a cat, so to speak. And when you are on super loose surfaces and you want to use the uh, traction control, stability control, the faster a servo, you know, the, the earlier it can correct itself and it doesn't fish tail. It just, it just goes straight when you goose the throttle. All right, the number three weakness is the ESC burns out. It's not up to snuff. It's pretty good. This one, the early models five years ago were really awful. Uh, the new ones are, are better, but they're still not quite there. And especially using that auto riding technology that they have, it goes, it goes full forward, full brake, full, full reverse. You know, that stuff is just hard on this thing. So not quite there. The easy solution, uh, when it breaks, so I'll, I wouldn't say replace it right away, but when it breaks, get the Hobbywing Mac 6 ESC. That one is just a beast. And it allows you to get more power, uh, even on the same motor uh, with, with this vehicle. So a lot of my footage is with this one. Maybe I'll show it to you. It's just a beautiful, piece from Hobbywing. It's not the it's not the easiest to fit in. It's a little bigger, but it does fit in. But it stays cool. It's got a nice switch. Very cool little upgrade. Okay, the number four weakness of this vehicle is the front arms break. You know, when you land at an angle on the front, boom, 100 pounds of pressure on it, this thing will break and crack. And the solution is easy. They, they've made the arms heavier duty. Make sure you get the heavy duty ones. Uh, you'll notice, I'll show you a picture, that there's more material. This, the holes are smaller. And once you have that, uh, they shouldn't break anymore. <laughs> My left arm broke twice and then the right once. But once they were replaced with the upgraded arms, no problems. I'm not saying they'll never break, but it'll be robust from here on. The number five problem is this vehicle flips over a lot. Uh, and that's just kind of an unfortunate thing. A uh, couple things going on with that. They knew it too. That's why they have that auto riding technology. You know, it's like 200 yards away. It can flip itself. But, you know, I've kind of given up on that because that just blows out the tires, blows out the ESC. And uh, it, it is, you know, it, it's unreliable. It's hard on the vehicle. So the solution, uh, there's two of them. One is get the wide max kit. Uh, Traxxas has recognized that Vehicles are wider now, more stable, so they made a wide max kit. I believe it's 20 to 30 millimeters wider on each side. So, man, that thing is wide. So, it's as wide as my new Arma Outcast 8S, and I noticed that thing is way more stable. So, I don't have the wide kit yet. Uh, the other solution is to stiffen your shock oil. Uh, this thing does not have stabilizer bars, but notice how, how soft the the springs are, uh, and, and the shock oil. So as you stiffen the shock oil, you'll prevent all that tipping and rolling over effect. All right, number six problem is the battery trays. The stock battery trays are very restrictive. Very few batteries will fit, m m mostly Traxxas batteries. <laughs> and even when the batteries fit, uh, aftermarket batteries, the, uh, it, sometimes it touches the wires and harms the wires. So the solution is to use a Velcro system, either design your own. All you really need to do is just have some long Velcros on each side, you remove those, uh, the stock ones. And here you have so many more options, thin batteries, tall batteries, long batteries. This is just the way to go. But Velcro is the way to go. And that little bit of give is actually good for the battery, um, you know, during the hard impacts. And the last problem, I don't have this, but I have friends who have the, the issue, is if you are very hard on the vehicle, like, like you're on a skate ramp and you land, you, you case it, you case a, the, the, 
the, the vehicle on the takeoff of a jump and you land right here, the chassis remarkably is not going to break uh, because of the flex. You know, the suspension and chassis of this is the beautiful thing about the vehicle. But that bend, it'll bend momentarily and return back into place. There's an aluminum shaft in there that's going to bend. And once that bends, you know, it'll start making noise. It'll still work remarkably so, but it'll, it'll make that vibrating um, noise and it's touching the, the, the case. So what you need is, is a, a chassis brace. You know, if that happens to you, I, w I wouldn't say go, go at it right away, but it ha if it happens to you, replace that shaft and, and get that chassis brace. M2C chassis brace is what you need. So there you go. You know, make the best vehicle around or one of the best, continue to be the best, uh, and, and just maximize your, your enjoyment out there.